So there are, um, there are several small peptides that are biochemically significant. Um, oxytocin and vasopressin, you may have heard of. These are peptide hormones. They're produced by your pituitary gland. Each of them is a nona peptide, so it's got nine amino acids. And they have six of them are held in a loop by a disulfide bond between the cysteine, which is number one, and the cysteine, which is number six. So it makes this loop here. Oxytocin and vasopressin are very similar. They differ only in the amino acid at position three and at position eight. The rest of it's the same. And they, but they, they have definitely different functions in the body. There are some neurotransmitters that are also small peptides. They're called enkephalins. Um, they're pentapeptides, so five um, amino acids. And your brain produces them to reduce pain. These um, have been found to play a role in what's called runner's high which I'm not sure if I ever actually experienced that. I did used to run, but supposedly when you run and you get past the, uh, the horrible mm -hmm. agony of the running, afterwards you have this kind of euphoria and it's called runner's high. The action of morphine and codeine and other similar pain medications that we've talked about is based on binding at the same receptor sites that these enkephalins that your brain makes bind to. There are two of them, met enkephalin and lu enkephalin, and the difference is in their last amino acid. The reason that um, the runner's high doesn't last very long, but the high you would get from morphine and codeine lasts much longer, is that your body is able to, um, has enzymes to break down these enkephalins, and it cannot break down morphine and codeine as quickly. And so that's why their effects last much longer. Glutathione is um, a tripeptide that is present in most cells, and it has an antioxidant um, effect. It, it regulates oxidation reduction reactions. So it helps to protect cellular contents from peroxides and superoxides. Um, an, an unusual feature of this uh, peptide is that the gluteth, um, glutamic acid, instead of bonding through the carboxyl group on the alpha carbon, actually bonds through the um, carboxyl group on the side chain. This is not normal but glutathione does that. So this is a side chain, and this is a side chain, and this is a side chain. So there's your exception to all the backbones are the same, glutathione.